then I was gonna take the box and I'll slide it in the frame. <laughs> Seven Viper. <laughs> Hello there and happy birthday. Today I have a big box. This was the Evic Heroes and Patriots Memorial Day box of awesomeness. I just got home from work and I walked in to see that this had arrived. Pretty excited. It's been almost two weeks and I've been waiting for it and now it's here. So we'd have, we have to open it. I'm excited to open it. It's a weird shaped box though. This is not a normal rifle length box. I'm not sure what this could be. It seems pretty packed. Like there's not a lot of wiggle room. What we don't want is... <laughs> an alien pulse rifle? I don't want an alien pulse rifle. We already have two. The odds of getting an alien pulse rifle in this box were pretty high. I think it was like 30. There were like 30 or so alien pulse rifles. I'm not exactly sure. Fingers crossed I don't get that. I don't want an alien pulse rifle again. Not that they're bad. I just I already have two. What are you opening with today? And today, to open this box, I'm going to use this. Pew! <sighs> Tape. No, a tape roller because there's no tape left on this roll. It's just the tape roller itself. There's been quite a few people asking for tape and or tape roller. This should do it. And I think with this little sharp bit, it's probably possible to use a tape roller. So instead of this tape roller sealing a box, it will for once unseal a box. So real quick, do we have any predictions on what this might be? Do you have any? I feel I have the strong sense that it is an M4. <gasps> It ain't so. My intuition just tells me that. I don't know. I think it's a saw because there are a few saws and I think that might be like if it was shipped taken apart, that might be the size of this box. Who knows? Let's get into it right now. <clears throat> oh, geez. It's not as easy as I thought. Now I'm just going to use this metal piece right here to run. <laughs> it's kind of working. All right. <laughs> I got the edges. That was pretty quick. I think that's it. It's open. I did it pretty quick. There's some paper. Alright, first I feel this. This is not a mag. This does look like a mag, but it is a, it's like a toolkit. I don't think it has anything in it. I don't know. It's empty. It's just like an empty tool kit that's shaped like an M4 mag. Value, priceless. There is a smaller box. So we got some kind of pistol. Colt cyber gun. See? Colt cyber gun. Oh look, I got a toilet paper roll. I haven't done this in a while, so here we go. Look at how that landed, right next to the C7 Viper and Syrup Gun Gang patch. It landed perfectly. I couldn't do that again if I tried. So we have a Colt 1911 AEP. It's got a battery in here. Let me take off my scarf. A Colt 1911 AEP. It's hot, hot, hot from being out in the sun. Kind of a thick boy AEP. Like this isn't standard 1911 size. I'm gonna see if the battery has any juice. <gasps> It had a little bit of juice, and now it's dead. So we're gonna take that battery out. I do have lipos now for these because, I don't know if you remember, but there's the one time I got six APs in one unboxing. So those lipos will work great with this Colt 1911. It's actually surprisingly heavy. I think it's got metal. It does have trades on it. It's just a thick boy. 1911. The battery, the charger, some BBs, and a speed loader. That's all that's in the box the end. Just kidding, there's still a main event. Do you know what this is now? No, a lot of them came with this. Oh. We've already been through three items. The little cheap toolkit. I'm gonna use that totally. I wouldn't call it a toolkit. I would call it a toolkit holder. <laughs> yeah, it's like a toolbox. An M4 mag toolbox. And I got a 2020 toilet paper patch and a Colt AEP. What else could this be? Uh. Oh my gosh! What is going on? Is this the... I'm kind of unboxing it. Oh, wow. Can I look? Yeah. Can I guess? Does it say no compromise? Okay, I'm gonna look. <laughs> it's a 
black nondescript box. This is the John Wick of airsoft gun boxes. It's just mysterious. This is the secret service of airsoft gun boxes. So now you know what we have to do. I have to stand it up and then take the lid off and I don't get to see. But here we go. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Hit the like button before I do it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. It's not a pulse rifle, is it? it? Better not be a pulse rifle. Don't say it's a pulse rifle. I think it's the. It's not a pulse rifle. It's a chrono blaster. It's the opposite of a pulse rifle. Holy crap! You know, a lot of people don't like getting these, but I thought if I get this one day, it's gonna look super cool on the wall. I'll even use it in a game. It's the Evic Limited Edition Chrono Blaster. Oh, oh my gosh, it's heavy. Ooh, got mag. And some BBs. <laughs> this was tested 525 2021 chronoed 330. You like that 2021 testing? Yeah, not 2018. It hasn't been four years. Let's get rid of this. It has like a BB counter on the back, like the pulse rifle. It's got like LEDs on it. It's got all these bronze or brass screws all over it. This thing is heavy. I don't do the heavy test, but. It's metal, there's some polymer, this is some really soft plastic on the grip and the cheek rest and the pistol grip too. This thing is intense! Look at this thing! This thing, this was, it's got a flashlight in it! How do you turn on the flashlight? Probably doesn't have batteries. I didn't know it had a flashlight. Now we're gonna have to shoot it. Glasses me! Jeez! Calm down, MLB. Extra innings. I don't even know where the battery goes in this beast. I'm guessing the stock. It needs a nine volt. I guess that's for the counter. Do you have a nine volt? Okay, I found where the battery goes. It's in the bottom here. All right, we've got the flashlight working and we turned off the big light to show you. There's the flashlight. It's not the brightest flashlight, but it counts. There's a switch on the side. And then we've got the BB counter on the back with all these green LEDs all over it. So the LEDs and the BB counter are powered by a nine volt in the stock back here. And then the flashlight is powered by one AAA battery. And then the airsoft gun itself is powered by a regular airsoft battery. So I'm putting my glasses back on now that the battery situation's figured out. And let's see if it functions at all. You don't see anywhere to change the fire mode. So I think it's just full auto and maybe you can use the trigger itself. The mag release. The hop up, it's on this side. This is the safety. Oh, okay, holding it for five seconds turns off the lights. Oh, just pressing it turns it back on. There we go, it is off. Wow, I never thought I would actually get one of these. Okay, so this one is five winners. So this is a five winner box. Supermax Custom Limited Edition Chrono Blaster. That's what we have here. And the Cybergun Colt Full Metal Licensed 1911 AEP with Marui type full metal gearbox, a random patch, and the AR-15 magazine shaped accessory toolbox. Toolbox. The value of this NA. I guess it's what I want it to be. And the value of the pistol is 89. The rest of the stuff is 11. So it's $100 for the extra stuff. And this is I guess priceless. They never put a value on the Chrono Blaster, but every box does have a Chrono Blaster. I'm pretty sure it's the only way you can get it from Evic is to win it in the Box of Awesomeness. I've been buying mystery boxes from them for years and I've never gotten this. Real quick, I'm gonna compare this to the Pulse Rifle. It does have a BB counter. It is futuristic. The Pulse Rifle is definitely unique. This, this is just streets ahead. This has a built-in flashlight, all these LEDs, and it's from Halo. So to me, this has gotta be worth more more than a pulse rifle, right? And the pulse rifle usually goes for, it says 360. So I'd say this would be like 450, 500, something like that. I know I've seen people try to sell them before and it's really worth what someone will pay. And no, this is not for sale. So let's see, as of recent eBay sold listing. Yes, this is interesting. $600. Oh. And that was in June. That's the month we're in. It was actually June 6th. And then another listing from April went for 570 plus shipping, 10 bids. 
Oh, wow. And these are sold listings. Okay, so 550 to 600. I'm impressed. Yeah, there's no real value from EBIC, but I guess on the secondary market, there's value. And this is not going to be on the secondary market. It's going to find a beautiful place on my new gun wall. Gun room video coming soon. And I guess maybe I'll use it in a gameplay, but that'll be a weird gameplay. Good collector's item wall it, hanger. It's definitely a beautiful collector's item. It's not something that I would recommend someone get to skirmish with every day, but if you like Halo and you like airsoft guns, why not? Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh, I can bench press this. Oh. Never did I guess this was what I would unbox. That's pretty rad. Yeah, rad. I don't think anyone says rad anymore. Mega gnarly. What are you, a ninja turtle? Cowabunga, dude. Totally tubular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Like it if I made you laugh. If you haven't already, subscribe to join the team. It's the only way you can do it. And check me out on all the socials, including TikTok, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I made that last one up. I'm not on LinkedIn. And I know you guys have noticed the patches and the shirt. Well, merch will be coming out very soon, this month. So keep an eye out. We will announce more details in the future. But for now, this one's mine. And you can't have it yet. We just want to take the shirt off my back. Rude. And like always. I'll see you guys next time. Ah!